Hey guys, in this video we're going to create base NPC. So later on we can use it to create all the different types of NPCs like innkeepers or traders and stuff like that. First thing though, I need to do one small fix from the video 66, which was FPS optimization. In remove attached item, I forgot to connect item info. So if you have done the same, just copy and paste this one and connect it there. Compile and save. And now for the NPC, let's create new folder in our blueprints. This one will be called MPC. In here, I'm going to create new blueprint and blueprint class, which will be character. This will be called base NPC underscore BP. Open it up. Here you need to make sure on your capsule components, you do have generate overlap events in collision. Otherwise we won't be able to interact with it. So that's very important. And now on the mesh, we can just set the default mesh to SKM money. Mm, we need to reset the location and rotation because you can see it's in the air. So location will be minus 90 and rotation will be minus 90. Now it's the correct way around. Compile and save. We can also set the base animation blueprint. For now we only need like an idle animation and later on we can change it to actually animate depending on one, what MPC it is. So for now we're going to do use animation asset and we're going to select idle, mm idle, compile and save. And a few things we need to change now. So in the class settings we need to do implement and interfaces and add our interact. BPI, which will give us these functions. Compile and save, and then in the class default, we will search for tag, and we need to add a new tag, which is the same one as in the player when we're trying to add the interactable items, it needs to have the interactable stack. Okay, so we'll copy it from here and paste it. Compile and save. And now in the event graph, we'll need the player reference. So remove these two. We'll cast to player blueprint. We'll get player character. And promote it to a variable called player reference. And we can also add our interactable widget, which we do have in blueprints, items, interactable items. And it's this one interact prompt. Just copy it and paste it here. Now in the viewport, we'll make it higher and just a little bit to the front. Compile and save. And now we don't need to set it in this character, but what we can do is when we are in range, we're going to get this interact prompt and we're going to set visibility to visible. And when we are out of range, so double click on this, we'll hide it again. Compile and save. And now just to test it out if it works, we're going to double click on interact and we're going to print string hello. Now in the level, let's add this NPC, play the game. And now if I go next to it, I do have a pickup notify. And when I click, it says hello in a print string. So that's working fine. There is one thing with the NPCs for immersion, like we want to be able to talk to NPC only if we front in the front of it. Okay, we don't want to be talking to NPC from the back because that doesn't look good. So we can create a function for it. In the base NPC, we're going to create function is in front. 
man in here first we need to get after the location then we will get the player reference that we have created we will get that actor location and we will do find look at rotation so where are we looking this will be the target then we need to do get rotation x vector we will need to get get actor forward vector so which direction we're facing and then we need to search for something called dot product which as you can read here it returns the dot product of two 3d vector vectors and then from that we can get the uh, degrees so we will search for acos degrees and we just need to check if this is less than 90 so less than 90 degrees in front of the player we'll do branch check connect it here and if we are then we need to uh, get the interact prompt set visibility to visible and if we are not we will hide it compile and save and now back in the event graph let's let me see if this so back in the event graph we can on event in range we can set timer by function set timer by function name the function name will be is in front you can copy it and paste it here and we can run it 10 times per second so 0 0.1 looping and we will start it when we in range and when we are out of range we need to clear timer by function name and it will be the same function name and we hide it anyway again just in case and then we don't need to make it visible because it will be checking 10 times per second in the function and if we are in front of it it will actually make it visible now in the function just so we can see it running we'll print string again and this will just be saying checking if you are in front and now if we play the game we go from the back it's checking but we're not in the front so it's not displaying the widget if i go around the player I suddenly have a pickup none. Obviously the pickup we're going to change to talk or trade or anything else, but we'll do it on the child of this base NPC. So that's working fine. And then when we leave it, it will stop that function. But it needs to be checking all the time when we're in range. Otherwise, uh, if we just run around the player, it would never show and now we do have base npc created that is everything that we need for it so what we can do also is right click create child blueprint class and this one will be our trader underscore bp and in here in event graph we can again remove these two just keep this parent begin play even though we don't really need it because we just get a player reference there but from here we can um, we need to cast to this interact prompt so we can set it to something else so cast to interact interact prompt interact prompt widget for object we can get this interact prompt get widget 
and connect it here because we do have reference from it. And then as interact prone, we're going to set uh, interact type, was it? Interact type. There we go. We don't have anything else apart from open door and pick up item. So we need to go to blueprints, interact type. And in the interact type, we'll create, let's create two more. First one will be talk. And second one will be trade. And now in the interact prompt, go to widgets, interact prompt. In a graph, we do have a selection. So when we want to talk, we're just going to set this text. Make literal text. And we're just going to say talk. And if it's a trait, we're going to do the same thing, but we're just going to say trait. And then if you create some NPC that will be like an innkeeper or something, we can also change this prompt and create a new one maybe that will have options like trait, craft and stuff on the same NPC. But we will do that later. For now, all we have to do is in a trader, change this interact type, compile it to trade. And now when we play the game, this is the base NPC. We can just drag in the trader. And we can trade. And then on a trader, we will set that it will open some kind of widget that we can trade. And in one of the videos, we'll also change what this trader will look like and maybe animate it. And that is all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.